Subscribe to Extreme Droid channel and press this bell icon and be the first to watch the latest tips and tricks videos. Recently, I had made a video on how to install me UI8 ROM on OnePlus 3T. If you haven't watched that video, then just click on the cards at the top right corner or you can check out the description. This me UI8 ROM is quite stable and everything is working like a charm. That's why I decided to review this ROM and today I'm going to talk about the performance and the features of this ROM. And is it stable enough to use it as a daily driver? So without any further ado, let's start. So let's start with the design and UI. The very first thing that most of the users will notice is the resemblance to iOS. There is no app drawer and all the apps are present in the home screen. But I think the UI is more minimalistic and fluid. It has a very different approach and that's what makes it unique. If you pinch in the home screen, you will get the options to customize UI according to your preference. Here you will get options like themes, widgets, wallpapers and effects. The design of the notification panel is also different from stock one. At the top you get a search bar using which you can search for websites, apps or contact. Below that you get the weather widget and calendar which can be accessed with a single click and there is a very cool feature in which the color of notification shade changes automatically according to the weather. There are 4 toggles at the top and if you swipe down you will get access to rest of the toggles. The recent app tray is also very different from stock and with some additional features like if you swipe down the app window, you will get the option to lock it. You can also change the viewing style according to your preference. There is also a dedicated theme engine to change the look and feel of your device completely. So in terms of customization, this ROM has to offer lots of stuff that you won't find in any other custom skin ROM. Now let's talk about the performance. I'm testing this ROM since 5 days and this is one of the most stable ROM that I have tested on OnePlus 3T. In most of the custom ROM, the dash charging doesn't work properly, but this is not the case with this ROM. The dash charging is working properly just like it used to work on the stock ROM. Rather than that, the fingerprint is also working just fine with 100% accuracy. This ROM also supports VoLTE and for those who want to know that Reliance Geo is working or not, well, yes, it is working fine with no call drops. Additionally, the alert slider is also working, which I really didn't expect it. Moving forward to its battery performance, which is a major concern of every user. After OnePlus updated OnePlus 3 and 3T to Android Nougat, lots of users are complaining that they are facing heavy battery drainage issues and I am also one of them. But in Mi UI 8, the battery performance is literally insane. I am getting about 7 hours of screen on time with moderate usage which is more than enough to run my device throughout a day. Moving forward to camera. The overall interface of camera app is quite minimal and easy to use. You can adjust the exposure by just swiping up and down. Clicking on modes give you additional options like manual, timer and panorama. But it can shoot videos at 1080p resolution which is a kind of bummer. Additionally, we have a secondary camera app which is directly ported from Oxygen OS. By using this app, you can shoot in slow motion. As I mentioned earlier that it can shoot videos at 1080p resolution but still the videos are very smooth as it seems like electronic image stabilization is working properly and for that a big thumbs up to the developer. Now let's talk about some of the features that you will get exclusively in this ROM. The first one on the list is Touch Assistant. It is very helpful in multitasking. You can easily set which apps or setting you want in Touch Assistant. By default, you can use it to go back, to take the screenshot, to go home and open recent app tray. Second one is Cloned App or Dual App. This one is the best feature of MIUI 8 and it is something new. By using this feature, you can sign in into two different accounts of a particular app like Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, etc. After cloning the app, you will find icons for that app on the home screen. The next one on the list is the inbuilt app locker. In MIUI 8, Xiaomi has added a separate app lock option which is quite powerful and easy to set up. By using this, you can protect your personal data. The last one is my favorite which is the security app and it's not just a security app. When you open the app, you will find several options like cleaner, data usage, block list, battery, virus scan and permissions. 
Additionally, there are lots of things and features that we can talk about but for the sake of simplicity, I just mentioned these. Now, I guess most of you guys were thinking that I have mentioned everything about this ROM except bugs. This is because in the usage of 5 days, I didn't encounter any bug, app crashes or random reboot and I'm really surprised with the stability of this ROM and that's the reason why I'm using it as my daily driver. So that's it for this video, hope you guys enjoyed it and if you do, then do consider subscribing to my channel for more future videos like this and don't forget to press that bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. So this is Samir signing off and I will see you guys in my next one.